Hi guys, today I'm going to be taking you step by step through my skincare routine and I've been using some new products and some longtime favorites so I hope you guys really enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Next, moisturizer. Moisturizer? Moisturizer. Hopefully the lighting and the sound isn't too bad because I had to do this part in my bathroom because these first two things that I have, I use in the shower. The first thing I use is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And it looks like that, and it is from Lush. Sorry, I went and put a headband on, but the first thing I do is I obviously have my face wet because I'm in the shower, and then I just take a decent scoop of this in my finger just like that and then I just put it all around my face and I also put this on my tricep area I guess but I won't show you that just for the sake of the video but then I just scrub it around my face just like this and you can really feel like all the salt particles and everything like that working and scrubbing on your face so I really just scrub not too hard, but just a little bit of force on my face just so all of this can really scrub and get all the dead skin and gross stuff off my face. After I'm done with that, hopefully you can see that pretty well, um, I just wash it off. So my face is still wet at this point. I don't want to dry it off or anything. And then after I rub my face with the Ocean Salt Scrub, I go in with my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. I absolutely love this stuff. It's my favorite cleanser ever. I just love this stuff and as you can tell, I'm almost done with it so I'll be needing to go out and get a new one. But all I do is I just pump it once into my hand, just like that, if you can see that. And then I just start rubbing that all over my face and letting it soak in. You can definitely tell when this is working because you can feel like a cooling effect on your face and I think that's like when it's cleaning out your pores. Alright, so after I finish, you know, rubbing that around and letting that soak in for a minute or two, then I'll just rinse it off and that is all I do for my face in the shower. Alright, so I think you guys should know this by now, but I'm not wearing any makeup or anything. I mean, that's kind of obvious. This is my skincare routine, so I do everything that I'm using right now before I put on makeup. So, I am back in my regular spot now. That cleanser that I just used, like when I walked into my room out of my bathroom and my fan is on, you seriously feel this like rush of coolness on your face and your your face is just so refreshed. Like it's crazy how like just the feeling of it on your face. I absolutely love it and it feels so clean and fresh right now. So now all of this is what I do after I get out of the shower and this first thing I use is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I put a little pump of it. Oh, well, I gotta turn it on first. Put a little pump of it on my finger just like that. One little pump and then I just dab this around my face. I don't put a heavy amount on because I also use another moisturizer. So this is kind of like a base moisturizer, I guess. I don't even know why I do this. I honestly have no clue. I couldn't give you some scientific reason or anything like that, but I just randomly tried it one night and I really, really liked the way my face felt the next morning. The next moisturizer I use is the Enzymian Facial Moisturizer from Lush. And this moisturizer is a little bit more um, thick, I would say, than the Clean and Clear one. So I just get a dab of this, you know, on my finger as well. Then do the same thing. And then I just rub this in as well. I have an entire video over the Lush products that I bought. I reviewed them and like everything you would need to know um, I talked about in my video so I will link that down below if you want to watch my Lush haul and review. I use the Orema Water Toner Water and this only has two ingredients, rose water and lavender water. I absolutely love this toner. 
I love the smell of it and I just absolutely love it. And then I also use little cotton rounds or pads. I will say though, this is my first time to use a toner. So I don't really have like a standard set for any of my toners or anything like that. This is the first one that I've used, but I really like it. So what I do is I just do four to five pumps or sprays on my face like this. So I close my eyes like that. Whew. Then I start kind of from the center of my face and go outwards with it. And it just gets all the extra dirt and oil off. Some days, you know, there's like a ton of oil and dirt on it and it's really gross looking actually. Today isn't, you know, as much unfortunately, so you can't really see the results, but there is a little bit on there. But I really like that toner. Last thing I do, I only use this in the nighttime. It is my proactive refining mask, so I won't use it right now. All I do is just get a dot of it on my finger and then just put it on any spots or blemishes on my face. And this seriously helps it so much. It reduces like the redness, the, the damage, the puffiness. Like it seriously helps so, 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 so much. And I recommend this product. And like I said, I only do that in the nighttime because then I leave it on at night and then wash it off in the morning. All right. So that is it for my skincare routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And hopefully I didn't look too scary without any makeup on. But yeah. So that is all I do. And I've Really, really loved it lately. So now I will go over to my Hawaii update. By the way, I pre-filmed this on a different day. I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to that video to update you guys on Hawaii. Thanks for watching my skincare routine, and I will see you later. Well, actually, like, in less than a second. <laughs> hey, guys, hopefully you don't mind this quick little update about Hawaii. Um, I just wanted to let you, you know, kind of know and catch up on what all I'm going to be doing and everything like that in Hawaii. So I have mentioned in my recent videos, if you haven't watched anything, that I'm going to Hawaii and I'm so freaking excited. But now I do know and so I just wanted to catch you guys up like I said. So we are leaving the 10th of July through the 17th I think and um, yeah we're going to the big island for a day or two. We might be going to Maui or Oahu. I'm not sure at all. It may just be the big island the whole time, but we're just going to kind of play it by ear. I'm going to be doing vlogs the whole time. I'm going to be doing like packing videos and um, traveling tips and everything like that. So I hope you guys are excited for those videos because there's going to be a lot of them coming up because there's only really a week today left before I leave for Hawaii and I'm so excited. Yeah, I think... That is it. So, I will be doing all of those videos you guys requested. If you still want to request videos, definitely feel free to do so. I can't wait to take you on this journey with me. Okay, that was really cheesy, but it's kind of true. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!